Well, you know what they say, guys. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But today, life has given us an RGB HDMI cable. So instead, we're going to make fun of it. Bitwit.tech, holiday sale, 30% off. Go get your merch while it's hot. <laughs> okay. Ar Arquis? Okay, let's start off with the name. Arquis. Arquis? That's a terrible name and terrible spelling. It's almost as bad as Bitwit. The company name is Vivify. That's at least a little bit easier to pronounce and read. 4K Ultra HD Optical Fiber. Oh, it's fiber optic. Okay, so that's a little bit different than your traditional copper. RGB gaming. It's a game. Not just, not only is it an RGB cable, ladies and gentlemen, it's a gaming cable. 2.7 meters or nine feet long. Woo! -hoo! 18 gigabits per second. So HDMI 2.0B. On paper, that's 4K 60 hertz. And unofficially, you could do 4K 120 hertz at a lower color depth of 8-bit uh, with a chroma sub sampling that's a little bit lower as well. On the back here we have World's First. Of course, you gotta throw in World's First at this point, why not? Supports game console, PC, TV, Blu-ray player. A Blu-ray player, wow. The Blu-ray player is probably cheaper than this cable is now uh, in 2019. What is this thing, like 79? $80, $80 for this thing, for a cable. It's a cable. Let's get this over with. How does this open? Doesn't even, the box doesn't even make sense, let alone the product. Oh, they personalized it to me. Hello, Kyle. They even, it's handwritten, it's got my name on it and everything. This is actually a pretty cool product, I will say. No, I will not be easily swayed. Your tricks won't work on me. As one of the very first to partake in aid, we would like to send you our warmest gratitude. Hope you enjoy and like our product as much as we do. Looking forward to build upon the future. Team Vivify. Oh, it's even personally signed and everything. No, I can't, I can't let that sway me. This is an objective review. I have integrity. All right, what is this? What is this? What? Why does an HDMI cable come with anything? It shouldn't come with anything. It's a cable. Don't make it something it's not. Okay, what is this? This is a photo grip video. Okay, this is one of those stupid things that you put on the back of your phone so you don't drop it because, you know, your hands don't work or something. I don't understand why people have those. Oh, a little micro HDMI cable. Is this slide up too? Is this $100? Oh no, wait, it's because you need this. <laughs> the cable, the cable needs a cable. How ridiculous is that? It's the stupidest thing. Oh, that snaps together really nice. Really, really firm, actually. I mean, what's the big freaking deal about fiber optic cable anyway? I mean, compared to copper, so what if it's got better EMI resistance? You know, it's got a stronger signal over longer distances. It's not as prone to signal degradation. Actually, all those things sound pretty good. But I'm still not convinced, okay? It's still $80, it's still ridiculous. Ooh, it's so light and flexible. No, stop it, cut. stop it. Okay, I guess we should plug this in now, since that's all you can do with an HDMI cable. Ah, yeah. Okay, I just plugged one end of it into my computer, which is right here, and it's blinking red now, probably telling me that I need to plug in the other end. So, got my little uh, Raspberry Pi monitor here, all powered up already, and still still blinking red. I don't I don't have a video signal. I don't see anything. What, is this cable not plug and play? You gonna tell me it's not plug and play? Oh, it says source. Okay, uh, apparently I plugged it in the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, I'm plugging it in the right way now. That's why I plugged this side into the desktop because I thought this would have to go, the USB from the micro USB cable would have to go in the, the computer. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, man. Like, I plugged it in because that's what you do with cables and they usually just work. This one's not. Okay, I got it working. I just plugged it into my regular BenQ 4K monitor and it's working fine now. So I guess it just doesn't like cheap monitors. If, if the monitor is cheaper than the cable, it won't work. There's seven different static colors you can choose from and then it does a color cycling type of mode. You can switch between them by pressing the touch sensor that's on the end of the HDMI cable. It's more of a capacitive button than a physical button, but it's there and it works and it makes the lights change and all that stuff. It's an RGB cable. I don't know what else I can really say here, guys. I mean, this is even gonna be visible in most scenarios. Like it's probably gonna go behind your flat screen TV and behind an entertainment center or something like that or behind a desk. I don't, I mean, you might see like a couple inches of it, you know, hanging down or something. Is it really worth it? Is it really that much of like a conversation piece? Hey, there's a little uh, strip of light down there. Oh yeah, I spent $80 on a cable because, you know, this is quite literally the weirdest flex I have ever seen. It's a super stupid product, but really stupid products have sold tremendously well in the past. Don't get me wrong. And you know, at the end of the day, I can't blame the manufacturer. I cannot blame a company for making this, okay? I I've had reps from various manufacturers in the PC market come up to me and personally tell me that products that have RGB 
tend to sell better than those that don't, assuming both products are the same price and are doing the same thing, more or less. So I get it. RGB is a trend that's here to stay. We can't really kick it, no matter how much some of us might hate it. So I guess I can't be too surprised when things like this pop up, but I'm sure as hell gonna make fun of it. And to be fair, there's nothing wrong with liking or even loving RGB. It's fine. You don't have to consider it a guilty pleasure. Just like what you like. But I can think of an infinite number of ways that you can better spend $80 than this. I just, this is, maybe I'm just too poor to, to understand this. I guess you just have to have money falling out of your butt to be like, here's $80, thank you for the cable. That was a worthwhile purchase. Again, I'm clearly not the right audience, but I don't know who the right audience is. If you would ever buy this, let me know. And if, and if not, would you ever buy an RGB cable if the price was right in the first place? What would you spend? How much would you pay for RGB in your HDMI cable? I don't even know anymore, guys. The only thing that'll make me feel better right now is if you head to bitwit.tech and check out the merchandise. Holiday sale, huge holiday sale right now. 15% off orders $50 or more and 30% off orders $100 or more. We just added a ton of new items. You're bound to find something that you like, so check it out. It's a great way to help support the channel too. Apart from that, guys, toss a like before you go. If you enjoyed this one, get subscribed for more tech content on the way, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is fun to, at least it's fun to shake it, people. Ah, you, you there, shiny boy. Ah. It comes with a manual. The cable needs a manual. What? The manual's in Spanish. No, that's, that's Chinese. Same thing. You didn't even give me a freaking English manual? What? What? Okay, I take it back. This thing's awesome. The best feature is that when you realize how dumb of a purchase you just made, it can act as a noose. I hate this cable. I hate this cable. Do I love this cable? I might love it though. It's kind of so ridiculously over the top that it almost comes full circle to being cool. I hate myself for loving it. It's a very complicated relationship that I have with the cable.